Today we got a special video for those who are maybe short on time but still want to get a very effective workout in. We're going to focus on minimalistic exercises that maximize results in just 30 minutes. Let's jump right into it. So first off, we're going to forget about any workouts that require long warm-ups. So we're taking away any benching, any deadlifting, any squats, anything that involves a lot of re-racking and unracking, we're taking those off. So we're going to start off with push-ups. Push-ups are a great way to start your chest days because they require no external weight. They're efficient, they're fast. So we're going to start off with four sets of going to failure. <laughs> So because this is a 30 minute workout, it's very fast, very efficient. We're gonna be going to failure pretty much on everything because you wanna get the most output for the input you're putting in. And throughout this video, I'm gonna be showing you different types of drop sets you can do and supersets to get the most efficient workout. Yeah, that's it. All right, so next we got some dumbbell chest press. So again, we're keeping the reps in reserve very low, so we're going to a failure pretty much on everything. But I'm going kind of heavy on these, so I don't know how many I get. I won't get like probably more than 15. Just because I also like to train for strength, even if I'm going to a failure. So we got three sets of this. Uh. So one of the things you're going to be seeing a lot in this video is that although we're hitting chest throughout the whole workout, we're going to be hitting different parts of the chest. But not only that, we're like hitting different parts of the chest with different types of movements. Meaning the first movement was off the floor, like a push press, like a pushing movement. This one is a pushing movement, but it's off of a dumbbell basically. And I'm pushing away from me and on the floor, it's like I'm pushing off the ground. Ah, come on. Ah, come on. Ah. 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 
Uh, so we've hit a lot of our middle chest already. So we're gonna focus a little bit on the upper chest now with some incline flies, but we're gonna do them on the incline bench with dumbbells. I usually don't do these, but I do wanna start incorporating them more. So we're gonna do three sets of failure and we're focusing now on the upper chest. <laughs> Yeah, so with these you're not really trying to close all the way you know I'm not trying to completely close because you really lose um, tension when you're up here so I go till about I go till about like right here because that's when I that's right before I lose the complete tension because what's I'm here it's just like directly up and down like that's just gravity going down basically it's not like it's not applying to the whole fly movement at all <laughs> So these next two exercises are a great way to save time. So we're gonna be doing a superset. So a superset is when you combine two exercises. We're gonna be doing what's called an antagonist superset, meaning you're gonna target two different muscle groups, which saves you time because while one muscle group is resting, you're training the other one during that rest time. Now, usually when you do antagonist, when you train antagonist muscle groups, you wanna do like completely different muscle groups. Meaning if I'm doing like a chest press, I wanna do like a row for my back. Or if I'm doing like curls, I wanna do triceps as my antagonist you let that other muscle group fully rest so that's why this was just a semi because we're still doing chest so i'm going to start with a chest pushing movement and then i'm going to superset it with an antagonist movement of flies so it's still chest like you're not fully recovering you know what i mean because it's not a completely different exercise but you're still somewhat recovering because it's a different movement instead of a pressing it's a fly movement we're going to do three sets of the superset and we're going to failure on everything so right after this i'm jumping right into the flies and that counts as one big set Oh, come on. So that right there with both counts as one big superset. So after doing those flies, I'm coming right back and doing this press. Because the point is to save time, right? Like you want to be efficient with your time. So my chest is still pretty fatigued, but it's not as fatigued as doing two pushing movements. At least I gave it a break from the pushing movement with a fly. And now I'm jumping right back into the pushing movement. Okay. <sighs> 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 
食。食。哇、啊！啊！啊！嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯So we're gonna end with the drop set with the dumbbell incline press. So we're going back to targeting um, the upper chest. So basically what we're gonna do is start with like a very challenging weight, a heavier weight, and you're gonna try to go to failure with it. And then we're gonna drop weight and then still go to failure, but with the lighter weight. So you're dropping the weight. So what this is gonna help with in terms of like a minimalistic workout is it's gonna keep you close to failure, but still in like the hypertrophy zone of higher reps. They also condense the amount of work that you do. They minimize the rest time. And again, they keep you close to that failure zone since you're failing with the heavy weight and then with the lighter weight. So it's just a good way to minimize like that rest time overall because as soon as you finish with the heavy weight, you're jumping right into the lighter weight, but you're failing with both. So we're gonna do three sets in total. <laughs> One, two, three. Thank you, bro. Well, I did care. What negative tears? Come on. You can help me on this one. Up. 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 Get there. Get there. Come on. Come on. Ah, thank you, bro. <laughs> So if you stay to the end of the video, I'm gonna drop you something that you know has helped me in my journey. Maybe it can help you. One thing I've learned is that if you are someone who wants to start a business or has an idea to launch something one day, one of the easiest easiest ways to do that is by starting content. Let's think about Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is the probably the most paid YouTuber in the world. He's the most popular and the most and the YouTuber probably with one of the most views. But Mr. Beast recently launched, you know, like Feastables. He also launched um, Beast Burger. 
which are different businesses aside from content. But the only way he was able to launch those businesses and the reason they're so successful is because he's built his following, his reputation, his like presence through content, through YouTube, through Instagram, through socials. So literally Mr. Beast right now, he could launch like a long moon business or like an airline company that has nothing to do with his content that he makes, but he could launch those things and they could be probably very successful. And he knows they can be very successful because he's Mr. Beast, like he's already built that following. So if one day you ever want like to launch a business or you have an idea you want to announce to the world and you want to have a, someone who back, like you want to have a following, the easiest way to do so to launch a business is through content.